Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about something I've seen on the internet a lot, and that is if a Halo CE remaster slash remake will save the Halo franchise. I just watched a Mint Blitz video where he said that some people visited the 343 building and went to the museum, and the people that greeted them from 343 came down and said they had just finished looking at or working on the next Halo project. I tried to find that on like Twitter or whatever, but uh, I didn't see where anybody said that. But I mean, I don't think he would say that and lie, but I've seen a lot of people start talking about, you know, Halo needs save this, Halo needs save that, Halo Infinite this, Halo Infinite that, 343 this, 343 that. Where is certain Affinities game? Who is working on, you know, the next Halo game? All this stuff. But if you didn't know, it was reported a couple months ago, one person in particular named Tom Warren, who if you don't know them, they're a pretty reliable insider source, <laughs> said that one game that's being considered for release on PlayStation 5 is Halo, though. Sources tell me Microsoft is working on some form of Halo Combat Evolved Remaster that is also being considered for rival consoles. I don't expect Microsoft to announce this during the showcase as it's early days for this remaster. And of course, that was a couple months ago, which led to a lot of other articles. And we've kind of talked about it on the channel before how, you know, if you're going to release Halo on PlayStation, do you just release MCC? Do you just do Halo Infinite? How do you, you know, price it? Things like that. And I think that maybe the Halo CE is kind of the reboot that they're looking for, especially if they're adding a whole new platform. Now, all that being said, if you enjoy Halo content, make sure you sub to the channel. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. We're grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers. That's a huge number to me. I would love to hit it before the end of this year. And I know like over 90% of you watch the videos from your recommended page and don't sub to the channel. So if you just help me out, I know you watch the videos, just, just sub, just go ahead and click that little button. Like I said, we've done videos on like Halo coming to PlayStation. If you haven't checked those videos out, you can, I'll link them in the description. We've done a couple of them, why it would be important, why it would help Halo, why it would help PlayStation. But I just feel like there's a lot that goes into, you know, quote unquote, saving Halo and rebooting Halo. You know, a long time ago, platform exclusives were how you sold your console between Xbox and PlayStation and I guess Nintendo. And if you go way back in time, you can see that IGN said in their original Combat Evolved review, is Halo worth the $350 it will cost for an Xbox in a game? If you can appreciate video games and have been waiting for the next step, then the answer is absolutely. And the rest is history. I mean, Halo Combat Evolved changed FPS games. It really has changed, I guess, the landscape of gaming in general. I don't know where we would be without it. Just the creativity, the sense of mystery and wonder, the storytelling, the lore, all chef's kiss. And I don't know that you can necessarily ever recapture that, especially with people that have played the game. Something that I think franchises in general lose as they go on, as they become more mainstream or more popular, or just get more years under their belts, is like the, the loss of mystery and awe within the world. Uh, Halo Combat Evolved, you know, it felt like Spartans. I mean, there was only one of that you knew of if you didn't see the uh, other Spartan that was like in the cryotube thing at the beginning of uh, the game. But it was just like, you know, these super soldiers, they were so rare. And then now I feel like, man, there's a Spartan on every corner. And I get why. I get the story reasons and stuff. But it's just like, I don't know. Anyways, there's a huge, you know, platform of people that have never played Halo. There's a huge demographic of people that have never played Halo, especially, you know, the PlayStation user base and like Asia and stuff. The PlayStation far and away outsells the Xbox over there. And I think possibly either Microsoft or maybe the new leadership at 343 just kind of want to start over. I don't know how they feel about Halo 4, 5, and Infinite at this point. I really do. I, Infinite makes me so sad, man. I was actually watching some of the, like, in-game cutscenes earlier and, like, the sound design and stuff. It was so good. I just, uh, man, so close, so close. Now, obviously, we have Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, which is a remake, which didn't change the plot or anything. Just, it had, like, quote-unquote improved graphics. Now, that's, you know, <laughs> objective, I guess. I actually like the older graphics more. I think it keeps the aesthetic and stuff 
much better. But something I think that they could improve on now is like all the background lore and what else was going on on that ring. I would love to see like extra missions and stuff. And there's so much content in those games that were cut that if you were able to add that stuff back in and just create a best of Halo remake slash remaster, I think this would be as good an opportunity as any. It would also give them a chance to mess around and become more familiar with the Unreal Engine if they are moving to that. Maybe we finally get a Scarab boss fight in the CE remake. But I just don't, I, I don't know if that, if it saves Halo, quote unquote. I, I don't know at this point if Halo, if the IP even needs like saving. I think there's a lot of things that go into making a successful franchise. You know, I would love to see like all these things remastered. I think everybody should be able to enjoy Halo. I would love for them to, I guess, reintroduce the game, maybe start over. I don't know what you do about Halo 4, 5, and Infinite at that point. I would love to see Chief kind of get a send-off. You know, I think maybe if they're making these games, there's there's got to be new Halo experiences, not just remakes and remasters. I don't know if it would have multiplayer. You know, there's all these things that go into it. But if you were to ask me at the end of the day if I think it's a smart idea, I would say 60% yes, it's a smart idea. There's always room for failure always mess something like this up but we've seen other games you know like all the resident evil stuff get their remake remasters and they have been well received so i think if you just make it better without trying to remake what it was if that makes sense like you don't change the game but you just you know kind of improve it where it needs improvements i think it'd be well received you put it on playstation call it a day make a bunch of money let me know in the comments if you think that this would quote unquote save the Halo franchise and would be the direction that you want to see Halo go in, especially if we get like other games, you know, Halo 3 Anniversary could come out. I don't know if Halo 2 really needs another one since like the one they made for the MCC is pretty amazing and the blur cutscenes and stuff. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you guys around the ring. Peace!